Oh, hey, all everybody. Welcome to this Wix Community Roundtable. Today, we're going to be talking about Wix Turbo. I'm your host, Brett Harrelson. And today, to discuss it, is Savan, who is representing the technical team who actually built Wix Turbo. Savan, welcome. Hi. So, Savan, this has been a massive undertaking, and I understand that uh, you were quite a big part of this. This is really exciting. So, t what have we what have we done? What have we built? What is Wix Turbo, Savan? Um, so, as you said, we're all very excited about this. We have been working very intensely for the past few months on improving our performance. Um, so if we want to dig into the technical details of what we did. So the first thing that we did was to convert our layout system from JavaScript-based layout that is very costly on the browser to CSS grid-based layout, which is actually rendered on the server site. So our sites are served from the server as visible already. We implemented SSR cache, which caches the SSR response on the first request, and then the next request will be served from the cache. We, um, we rewrit and refactored big parts of our system in order to optimize it, make it more efficient and much more performant. And we added um, immediate loading of images and media so they are actually rendered on the server as well. We optimize our animations massively, so they work much sleeker and better. And we added global distributions of data centers, so everything is served much faster. That sounds very that sounds very intense. Uh, that was a, a mouthful. So jumping into that, what let's just say one thing. What exactly is SSR cache? And I, I, we've seen a lot of that. For those who don't know, what's a quick sentence of, of what an SSR cache might be? So SSR actually is the server-side rendering that returns the HTML that is rendered in the um, browser. So if, if we cache this result, we don't have to render the site again and again in the server. We already have it um, cached in the database. So our users, the next user that um, accesses the site, Will, will receive the cache result immediately and doesn't have to wait for it to be rendered again. So that so that just means essentially faster. Okay, yeah, I understand. Much faster. What was what was your side question? What was the most favorite thing? I think diving into this and 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 and, and really getting into the to the nitty gritty. What was your favorite thing working on on the Works Turbo project? So as I said, um, we've been working very, very hard on this project. We work days and nights and nights and nights. So I think that um, the experience was really amazing. We were a very big team and the entire company really came together to, to do this. So I think that it was a lot of fun and we had a lot of late nights at the office that were um, very social and, and entertaining. So um, I think that that was a big part of it. And also the outcome is really amazing because we really changed the way Wix, Wix thinks and Wix behaves and, and everything about the company and the product. So uh, that's what something I would have expected. I, I know this must have been really, really tough and the team bonding must have been really amazing. So we talk about your SSR cache and and all of the the infrastructure that you talked about and some of the changes, does does now does that also and and someone's actually asking this Jerry wants to know does this also affect mobile or is this mostly or only uh, desktop? So basically everything that we do affects desktop and mobile the same way. We don't um we we don't serve mobile and desktop differently. We know that. Mo most of our sites are served mostly on mobile, especially in, in, in the United States. So, so we, um, everything that we do affects both mobile and desktop at the same, at the same manner. We don't differentiate between them at all. The you. only different things are the product level, which means um, um, like different components and different experiences, but at the technical level and performance, the investment is the same. So, so, so a mobile is affected as well. Are other elements of Wix also, like for example, Wix code, is that also a part of this? Is that also being affected? So obviously, as I said, um, we refactored um, massive parts of our system, including 
the way we run Wix code. And yes, this is affected and we are going to see um, massive improvements in the way Wix code runs. So everything is really affected at this point. And, and one quick question from the community. Gary wants to know, is this fully rolled out to all regions or is this selectively being deployed? That may be a harder Apparently, question. We're rolled, we're rolled out um, all over the world. However, not all of the sites are being served on Turbo or, or with all of the features. Some are getting some of the features and some are getting more, a, a bigger part of them. This depends because we, we have a lot of legacy sites that cannot support all these new and improved features. So these are things that we're also working on, on how to migrate these sites and to um, give our users more tools to migrate they, their sites to be able to get the, the better performing um, um, capabilities. And and just just real quick note to the community, guys, if, if you all have seen, there is a support article that actually kind of goes through some of the things and there's a walkthrough on that. This isn't necessarily part of that round table, but to, just to sort of duck tell what she said, there is a link and I've provided that as a resource. So what she's talking about legacy things, there's a there's a support file for that and it's 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 in the community and I'll probably add it at the end of this video. If you guys uh, watch later, I'll point you to the right place. That's that's really interesting. And somebody else asks a great question. How and this is and I know you know the answer to this one. How does someone uh, turn is this something they need to worry about? Do they press a button to turn turbo on or is this something that is just done? We just do this for our users. We um, don't require them to do anything unless, as you said, they have to, 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 to change things in their sites in order to support all these features. But um, most of the sites, I think it's, it's over 50 or even more than that, 70% of our traffic um, are receiving these features, which means that this is something we're automatically doing for our users without them needing to do anything. That's That's been a question I think that's been asked uh, several times, and, and I'm really glad that you answered that. Um, so, so we're talking about speed here and how things are, are in much, much faster. Is there a, a way for us to, to gauge our site speed? Is there a new brand new Wix tool? Yeah, we, we introduced the Wix analyzer that, um, allows our users to insert a URL to a Wix site. And then, um, it measures the time to visible and time to interactive for um, this specific site. And in some cases, it gives you different tips on how to improve these, uh, these numbers um, for your site. So um, basically what this does is because we are familiar with the internals of our system, as part of the development process of every feature and everything at Wix, we add um, reporting and um, and, and reporting of the of the different um, parts of the system loading and the data. So we actually put this together and for every site, we know exactly what happens when. So this is something that we know from knowing the internals of our system and not trying to guess this from the outside like other tools do. That's very interesting. So there are other tools on the internet, but uh, they're, they're, they're different because it's it's we're talking about data that we know Wix internally that no one else does so so that makes yeah, our tool different exactly because we know exactly how our system is built and part of the development process is reporting these different milestones so we're able to know exactly what happens when while the other systems are trying to actually guess this I, I think I understand that and Eileen says that she tried the tool yesterday and she really really liked it um, so, so what's the difference between, and forgive me for, I'm just trying to ask questions here. What's the difference between visible versus interactive? How is that different? Can you, can you give me, can you paint me a scenario? Yeah. So when a site is served from the server, it's served as visible. At this point, you can see the site, but you cannot interact with it. Meaning that you can't click on buttons. You can't navigate using the menu and the the slideshow isn't isn't interactive yet um galleries you can't zoom in on the images as soon as the site is interactive that's when you can really navigate click on buttons and, and really work with the site so at first the site is visible and then we have to run some rendering which makes it interactive 
I understand. So, so I think that 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 at least uh, uh, answers that question. That's a, that's that's really interesting. What what was? I, I guess I guess between the interactive and 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 that's a, that's really really good. So so the Wix tool, guys, just to circle back, Savan, the the Wix tool is much more accurate. Has actual data, and yeah, and so so what might be some ways. And, and, I, and I get this question a lot. If someone has a, a, a whatever their results are in the test, there are ways still to improve your site. And guys, there is a, so there's a walkthrough on that, and I have that, and I'll add that as a resource. So I, I see that I see that question a lot. Yeah. So so basically, you should um, you should go to the support articles that are um, that that you were talking about before. We work very closely with support on helping them. Um, tell the users how to optimize their sites, how to change things and make them better. So this is something that we do together with the support team. Perfect. Now, Roseanne and Gary, we actually just answered that question. But just for those of you who, who jumped in, I'll ask it. I'll ask it uh, one more time. Uh, so, Savannah, you, you've answered this, but I, I'm going to ask one more time. What is the main difference between the Wix uh, speed test and other Internet tools that might that gauge site speed? I'll ask one more time, guys. Here we go. One more time. OK, so um, so basically when we develop the system, everything we do in the system, we add reporting um, that for, for the different loading stages that collect the data it actually marks the different milestones in the code. We are, um, as we are the developers of the system, we are familiar with what happens exactly when. So if we, if we report this and then we um, look at these numbers, this is actually what the analyzer is showing. It's showing the internals of the system as we know exactly what happens when, and then we report that. So this is exactly, the the correct numbers while other systems that aren't familiar with the internals of the of, of of the way the wix viewer works are just trying to guess these numbers so i think i understand so so this is like i said guys this is very we have the data we know it's so so what happens savan if i use a, a tool on another site and it's a different score you're saying it's because they don't really know it's it's a it's we have the real data is that correct? They don't know exactly how our system works, and they, um, they're they based, I, I, I personally am not familiar with the way that the different tools work, but I assume that they're based on the different interactions with the browser. And what we do is that we measure exactly what happens in the code flow itself. So it's different because we have internal track. I understand. Exactly. That's very that's very interesting. I think, I think that answered everybody's question. So I, I'm seeing a lot of people uh, really excited. My site's so fast.